How bizarre and yes, frightening as well. This summer of 2023 weather has been the downpours, the flooding, including lots of damage last night. Brooklyn got the worst of it. The community of Bensonhurst, especially trees were uprooted. They came down like dominoes. You saw all of it on uh, Eyewitness News last night. Trees down high, winds and flooding, and right in the middle of it, Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. It's serious damage all up and down the block. People are kind of trapped inside that house. And this huge burst of wind that like I never saw came down the street. This was a very serious storm that seemed to come out of the blue. Said it was frightening. So how long does it take to clean up a street filled with downed trees? I would assume reporter Joe Torres with that story. He's live in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn for us. Joe? Bill, we got an education today from a forester with the New York City Parks Department. He told us that so many of those trees that came down in the storm yesterday, like this one right behind us, they're called London plane trees. They're all over the borough. They grow big and tall and wide, all in an effort to catch as much sun as possible. But you know what that means. That means they also catch a whole lot of wind, and it was the wind yesterday that brought them down. Alfredo and Ellie's security camera clearly captured what happened to the large tree in front of his Bensonhurst home yesterday. And our camera captured the mess and debris outside his home today. The electrical contractor, his wife, and two kids were all home in the living room when the powerful winds roared down 73rd Street. I felt like an earthquake and heard glass crashing upstairs. Everybody ran into the back of the house. And me and my cousin went upstairs and we just saw an explosion of glass. The National Weather Service said all this damage resulted from a microburst with an estimated maximum wind speed of 60 to 70 miles per hour. City officials had reports of more than 100 downed trees, most of them in Brooklyn. Yesterday, the fire department worked on the initial cleanup. Today, the parks department continued the job. I heard three bangs. I looks outside the window. I've seen a disaster. I've seen the light pole, the wires dangling. A city forester told us many of the topple trees are London plane trees, roughly 50 to 75 years old. And while some of those trees appeared rotten in the middle, we learned it's the strength of the storm and not so much the health of the tree that determines if it stands or falls. I saw Sandy, and this is the kind of thing you saw in Sandy. Mm -hmm but on a much smaller scale. They might drive by and say, there's leaves on a the tree, they're alive. You know, uh, I don't know if they actually drill into it, tap, see, or whatever, but uh, I don't think they've been doing any correct inspections of the trees. Now, here, this is some of that dry rot within the center of the tree that we were just talking about. You can see how black it is and how crumbly it is. The Parks Department would absolutely love to sort of drill into trees, tap into trees, to get a better readout of the tree's age and its condition. But consider this, there are hundreds of thousands of trees on public property throughout the five boroughs of New York City. The Parks Department just doesn't have the manpower to do that kind of analysis.